up guys big d Wiz here old school stereo.com as you can tell by the old school stereo test bench we have a bit of a mess here anyway what i wanted to do today was talk about a brief overview of a new product that we received here at the labs and also trying to get a little information from you guys out there who may be experts so let's check out and see what's under this towel all right here we go Ooh, shiny what do we have here US amps made in Florida USA let's check out the side here we have a gain control left and right RCA jacks Notice how the power LED is right in the palm tree there. Pretty cool. Very loud. <laughs> very loud. You get it? Instead of very, it's very. Uh, has a high peak, a slope, and a low peak. And not sure if that's like base and the slope and the high peak, or if this has something to do with the crossover. Maybe some of you expert US amps guys can let me know. And here's the other end. As you can see, there are three terminals for each power and ground. Then there's a remote and the left and right. So you may say, wow, this is a beautiful amp, big amp. What is it? Well, I've been told it is a VLX50, which is 25 by 2. RMS and up to a thousand watts at one half ohm bridged. So it doesn't have any markings to say what it is, but I'll flip it over because it does have a clear plexi bottom and we'll look at the bottom of it. So hold on just a second. All right, so here's the guts of the VLX 50. Trying to keep the reflections off of the screen here, but it's going to be difficult. you can see it's pretty beefy looking the only marking I can really see it'll be hard for you to see but it says US amps world-class amplifier I don't see any other notation of a model number there is a serial number at the other end but I'd rather not show that right now on the video As you can see, I'll back up a little bit here so you can see. Pretty beefy looking amplifier here. I believe this is the same as USA 400. This is just the low impedance version designed to handle one half ohm bridge, one quarter ohm stereo loads for extreme cheater classes. All right, I got a good old tape measure as you can see about 23 inches long so my question to you guys is a what year was this from I've looked in some of my uh, guides and I can't really figure out which year it may be from I'm thinking maybe 98 or 99 um, but I didn't see anything listed on the US amp sites they've got a VLX 25 and the USA 400 and a VLX 400 during that time but I don't see the um, VLX 50 so first off does anybody know if this really is a VLX 50 or is it a VLX 25 so I don't have a clue if there's any way for me to figure it out by any of the markings please let me know and also uh, if anybody has a manual or knows the fusing requirements obviously it's, if it's a VLX 25 it's going to need 225 amps according to US amps so anyway, just wanted to see if anybody out there could uh, give me a little heads up on this. Please check the description if you're watching this two years later. It's a good possibility somebody's already given me the answer. But I appreciate you guys watching as always. We'll put this joker on the bench here in the future and we'll see how it does. This is Big D Wiz, OldSchoolStereo.com. I'm out of here.